That was awkward. Yes, it was. <laughs> What's good, everybody? This is your boy Jagging Off, the Go to Jags YouTube. Not a Fort of Bowl City Duval. We in a fucking building yet again. And today's video actually is not about the Jags at all. It's about this fucking pussy, Taylor Luan, aka Trailer Trash Luan. So I don't know if y'all have read this or not, but there's an article that I seen today where here this bitch is suing the NFL for. A torn ACL that he suffered in 2020, saying that's saying basically it's the reason he sucked and he hasn't been able to either rehab it properly or keeps getting injured. How the fuck is that the NFL's fault? And if you're so sure, because he's torn every year since, if you're so sure it's the fucking NFL, why are you picking the same doctor? Why don't you, you got the money to pay for it. Why don't you go to an outside source and get the shit repaired? If you're so sure that it's the NFL doing it. And you know what else is funny about that, about that year? 2020 is actually the year after he got popped for BEDs that he didn't, that he allegedly didn't know he was taking. Funny how that, funny how that works. Maybe it's because your body was so used to the PEDs that now that, that now that you haven't had them, it's starting to break down, and as you get up there in age, it's doing shit that it normally wouldn't do, and your shit's breaking down a lot easier. Did you ever think of that? Like, I swear to God, bro, like, I can't believe people just gave him a pass after that statement came out. It was like, oh, I didn't know he was taken. Like, are you serious, motherfucker? You didn't know what you took? That, like, seriously, that that's basically like eating an omelet and saying that, you didn't know eggs was in the motherfucker. Like, that don't even make sense. And people gave him a pass. Like, you knew goddamn well what you were doing. You just weren't getting caught for it. And now that he got caught and he couldn't take them anymore, now his fucking body's breaking down more than usual. Because that's what happens when you take performance-enhancing drugs. The minute you stop, the, they fucking wear off and your body is relying on them. That's why his shit keeps tearing. That, and you're not rehabbing it fucking properly. And again, if you're so sure that it was the NFL doctors fucking you up, why didn't you go to an outside source? Why not after the first or second time did you not go to another doctor? And it's funny when all this shit comes out, too. Like, it comes out right after free agency and the draft, and no one wants anything to do with this motherfucker. <coughs> Like it's funny, no one wants to like it's funny, no one wants to sign an injury prone, overrated pile of shit that is nothing but a black eye to the NFL. Like people don't look into this motherfucker too clearly, and people wonder why I hate him so fucking bad. Like, I've never heard of such dumb shit. You suing the NFL for your body getting injured and not being able to hold up. Like, bro, I really hope you take that shit to court. They're gonna laugh. Any judge with a normal brain is going to laugh you out the fucking building. Like, it's all coming down for this piece of shit now. Like, he's so, like, he's so incensed that, one, he was overrated to fucking begin with, and now no one wants to deal with him. And people wonder why I laughed at Trashville for letting go of Jack Conklin to keep this piece of shit. There's a reason why I told you that was fucking dumb, because I know the fucking character. And... Now you see, and now you see it, and now it even got to the point where Trashville was done with it because because they decided to cut you and then draft Peter Scrotum. And honestly, in this case, I can't fucking blame them. Like, who wants to deal with this fucking guy? Like, oh, it's not my fault. It's the NFL's fault. I keep getting injured. You dumb bitch. It's your fault because you just because you stopped taking PEDs because you got popped for them. That's why your shit keeps breaking down. That and you're not rehabbing it properly. Here's a, like here's the thing. Travis Etienne had a fucking Liz Frank injury, which is known for ending careers. It ended Maurice Jones Drew's career. It e it's either known for ending careers or when people or if people are up there in age or don't rehab it properly, they're never the same. And usually it ends their careers. What did Travis Etienne do? Did he blame the NFL? No, he rehabbed the shit properly and got eleven hundred yards. James Robinson 
had a torn fucking Achilles, which is just about as bad, if not worse, of an injury than a torn ACL. He's back. He's back. No problem. Fucking Adrian Peterson had a torn ACL and then led the and then led the league in rushing back in what was it? Twenty. I, I can't think of the fucking. I can't think of the fucking year he did it. But but y'all know what I'm talking about. And here, oh, it's the NFL's fault. No, bitch, it's your fucking fault. You're soft. You're a pussy, and you can't fucking rehab your shit right. And you're not. And your body's not used to not having PEDs in them because you probably got away with it for a while. Like, see, if people wonder why I can't stand this bitch. Like, like, ban this pussy from the NFL. Like, after this, like, after he goes and sues the league and they laugh him out the fucking building, don't let him back in the league anymore. I mean, granted, no one wants anything to do with him anyway, but still, like, you need to just be banned for being this fucking stupid. Oh, but don't worry, it's all good. Oh, but don't worry, it's all gonna wor work out. You still got that stupid bussin' with boys podcast that no one fucking listens to. And, <laughs> and then here's the other and then here's the other thing. I don't know how the fuck your wife ain't divorced you yet, you dumbass. Like, this motherfucker over here being Jeffrey Starr's boo and shit doing podcasts with him. Now it makes sense why they call it bussin' with boy boys. Because he's sneaking Jeffree Star in the back of a, in his bus doing whatever weird freaky shit they into. Like, look at the thumbnail on the goddamn video. That ain't no god. That ain't no goddamn spa juices. That's Jeffrey Star's trans juices. I already know, bro. You ain't fooling me with that bullshit. Like, but yeah, they, 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 like I saw that. Like, I should believe it, but it, part of me was kind of surprised. But then again, I'm not surprised because this is the type of bitch that would pull this type of shit. Like, bro, you're a fucking clown. You are the biggest clown in the NFL. One of them. I shouldn't say the biggest, but one of them. Like I like so, like I swear I hope this motherfucker's career is over. Like I hope it's done. I hope we never. I hope unless you're one of those people that listen to that god awful show and whatever weird shit him and Jeffrey Star are doing. Unless y'all listen to that shit, I hope that's the only time anybody ever has to see this motherfucker again. Because I sure as hell ain't gonna see. Because I don't listen to that. Because I don't listen to that shit. No, and I despise fucking Jeffrey Star. So. Y'all had fun doing that. It was a good ride for old Trailer Trash, the one. Man, Sean, man, and I'll tell you what, Sean Taylor, man, he rest in peace. He got to be rolling over in his fucking grave thinking, damn, I got to share this. I got to share this a same name with this fucking piece of shit. And y'all wonder what, and y'all wonder why I've hated this motherfucker so bad, basically since he came into the league. Suing the NFL for, for my torn ACL. Get the fuck out of here, dude. And, and see, here's the thing. Normally, I would be happy and proud of somebody standing up to, to the league for situations like this. But this just sounds so dumb and doesn't make any fucking sense. You're just looking for an excuse to tell people why you've been injured and have sucked the last few years. And now you're mad nobody wants anything to do with you and not signing you. I mean, really, is anybody surprised? Is anybody really surprised? If Trashville gave up on this piece of shit, what makes you think somebody else going to sign him? Like, that motherfucker's drafted Peter Scrotum and are ready to move the fuck on. Unbelievable. Trailer Trash the one. Go fuck yourself and may your career rest in piss. I hope it's done for good. Anyways, that's it. That's all, people. This has been your boy Jagging Off. Go Jags. Do ball till I die. I'm gone.